八十年代末期到九十年代初，大量电子国外电子技术进口中国来，就到桂林这个地方去回收、拆解和利用。Guiyu has been a trash town for decades. You can smell it before arrival. Everywhere you can see both signs of wealth and chaotic piles of junk. Nearly 20 years of dealing with scrapped electronics have turned ditches black, and the air is permeated with burned plastics and baked circuitry. Here, two women work 10 hours a day breaking down circuit boards by baking them on coal-fired stoves. The melted tin makes their job much easier, but it also spews out toxic gas that burns their lungs. Earning more usually means harsher working conditions. These men mine the gold from circuit boards using industrial chemicals with minimal protection. One of the more alarming developments that we've learned about fairly recently is that we believe that some significant amount of the hazardous electronic waste that's being shipped to China is actually coming back to us in the form of lead and toys and jewelry for children. In 2006, a four-year-old from Minnesota died from lead poisoning after swallowing a small charm that came with a pair of Reebok shoes. The charm was later found to be 99% lead by weight. There's been some research done uh, actually by a research chemist in Ohio um, who has discovered that the kind of lead that was found in essentially junk jewelry. Keychains, necklace pendants, earrings, uh, inexpensive jewelry items sold at local discount stores. The chemical fingerprint on that lead was the same as the lead used in electronic solder. We know that lead is very harmful even at very low doses to children in terms of their neurological development. Studies that were done after Jarnell Brown, the young boy in Minnesota who died, indicated that the content of the charms that sold by Reebok was highly variable. So some had very high lead concentrations, some very low, which would tend to suggest scrap metals of varying contents were being used as the source materials for these items. Uh, copper will dissolve out of the copper wiring and printed wiring boards when these are heated in, in the puddles of solder. It certainly suggests that recovered electronic solder from the electronic waste stream in China and other Asian countries might be a, a possible source material for some of these items. <laughs> 